name is Denise Cunney, and welcome to the Osmosis Class demo. I'm going to show you exactly what we're doing and give you some tips so that it goes smoothly as we set up everything today. So, what you see in the picture is an egg, and I have one here as well. This is an egg that's sitting currently in acid and it's dissolving the shell. So, all that will be left is kind of a semi permeable membrane in your egg. It'll be a little bit squishy to the touch. And what you're trying to figure out in this lab is what exactly is the internal concentration of that cell. And we're going to do that using the tools of osmosis. So I shared with each of you in your class whole group data. And as you can see, we're going to be soaking eggs in two different solutions. So your group, groups of three, maybe four, are going to have two eggs. So I'm going to grab another one over here. You'll have two beakers, two eggs. One of your eggs will be in salt solution, the other in sugar. Now, what you can do is you can figure out with your group, and this is a first come, first serve basis, what particular concentrations you want to do. So there'll be one group doing a 5% salt solution, and maybe their other egg is a 2% sugar solution. As long as they're clearly labeled with, with uh, tape, your group's initials, somebody's initials in the group, on the beaker you will be set. We have to make sure all of those different concentrations of salt and sugar are accounted for. And as you can see, in the far left column, we're going to be taking the mass of just the egg all these different times. So multiple times a day. Today you'll take it in class and after school, and tomorrow it will be three times, and then the following day it will be in the morning, and then in class is the ultimate or the last massing of your egg. So um, you'll be filling this out as you go. The biggest thing, though, is to make sure that each person in the group knows where they're coming in to take their measurements. And so when you're setting up your lab, you're going to be filling out this sheet. You're going to be filling in the lady title of your school. The effect of the independent, what we're manipulating on the dependent, what are we measuring? The hypothesis, what do you think will happen? If we do this, then what do we think will happen to the mass? And so your independent variable is what you're changing for each group. And here's where you would put your um, different masses that your group is assigned, or diff sorry, different solution concentrations that your group is assigned. Dependent variable are the masses, et cetera. And so how are we going to measure the dependent variable? What's our control? I'm actually going to show you what the control is. And then you're going to keep filling out that sheet for your lab setup. So let me put these aside, and I'm actually going to set up the control. All right, so for, my, for the control, and it's going to be for everybody, we're going to take my uh, egg right here, and we're going to make the control for every single group. And so basically what you're going to do, and you're going to do this too, you're going to take a spoon out of the, the, the uh, bunch that we have, and you're going to drain out the acid into the sink, and then be really careful and then you're going to rinse that uh, egg in the beaker with tap water. And, and then you can empty it all out. So all you have in here is sitting is, in here is an egg. And then what you'll do, you'll want to carefully take the egg out, pat it dry, and take it over to the, the balance and put it in, put the weigh boat on the balance. Make sure you push zero so that the, the scale says zero. Then you'll put your egg, just your dry egg, into the weigh boat and take your initial measurement. Then you can go ahead and take your egg, put it back in the beaker, and now you're ready to make your solution. Now for the control, I'm simply going to take some tape. I'm going to write control on it. And I'm going to put that right on the beaker. So we have our, we almost are ready. So right now I do have solution of acid in here. You guys won't, it'll just be the egg. And now I have to make my solution. Now you'll notice on this table is that depending on the concentration of salt or sugar, you have different amounts of each of the solution of salt and sugar and, this, and the distilled water. But no matter what, when you look across, everything always equals 150 milliliters. So you want to make sure at the end of the day you have 150 milliliters in your beaker. For me, that's easy. I'm just doing a straight control with distilled water, so I know that all I have to do is take my graduated cylinder, fill it up to 150 with distilled water, 
and I'll be set. I'll pour it in my uh, beaker with my egg and I'm ready to go. And then I make sure I have my measurements taken a few times a day and that's all I need to do. So for you guys, um, you may want to pause it at this point and figure out what concentrations your groups will be doing simply so that you know the amounts uh, of each solution that you'll do. So if your group does a 4% salt solution for your egg to soak in, you'll need to measure out 60 milliliters of salt solution, 90 milliliters of distilled water. And you're up for your other egg, if you're doing 3% sugar solution, it'll be 45 milliliters of the sugar solution and 105 of distilled water. So once you have everything set, once you have your two eggs labeled in the, and in the proper solution soaking, then you can go ahead and put them in your class bin of, of beakers and you're all set. Thanks for listening.